All right, guys, here we are inside the friendly confines, and we're going to take a stroll around the bases with radio voice for the Cubs, Ron Coomer. Ron, and thanks for coming on. Absolutely, Ronald. For yeah, sure. Yeah. This is a blast. So we'll just stroll around, yeah. catch up. How's life? Could it be much better? Right. We're World Series champs. I'm calling games at Wrigley. It's my hometown team. Pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> what a great feeling, too, to be yeah. able to play here, be a Cub, and then to come back, somebody that has this, such a this special feeling for the Chicago Cubs, and then sit there and watch a game every day and call it. How, how, how great is that? It's, it's as good as it gets, really. I mean, you know, for all of us that played a long time and you struggle to get to the big leagues, then you get here, and you just know how hard it is to be in the big leagues as a player and now as a broadcaster, and now to be able to get kind of the best of all of it, to play here and now broadcast with Pat day in and day out. we got a great team, World Series champs. I mean, this is pretty... Yeah. Pretty good. <laughs> and speaking of working with Pat, like, I mean, this guy, you know, Hall of Fame broadcaster, yeah. just an amazing man, so knowledgeable. You guys, I listen to you guys so much. Don't tell Len and Jim, but I listen <laughs> to you guys more than I watch them. So just to hear you guys, you, you have tremendous uh, chemistry up there. How much fun is it working with him? Awesome. Pat, I've learned so much in four years of working with Pat, of his professionalism and his um, generosity, I guess is the right way, to, maybe the right way to put it, of airtime. Because as you know, there's a lot of egos and a lot of stuff in our business. Pat has, he checks it at the door every day. He just wants the best broadcast to come out. And he has been a phenomenal partner in the booth for me. Yeah. yeah that, so as a player, when you're here, we're walking our way from second oh. base over to the hot yeah, corner. Right. Right. A lot. There's uh -huh. got, I know you got a ton of great memories here. Something that you can share with us, whether it was you know, a third base coach saying something, a fan saying something over there, or a moment where you're like, oh my God, this is hilarious, or this is, what a great play, something, you know, that you just bring back from third base where. The first day I ever played in Wrigley Field, I was a twin, so I hadn't come to the Cubs yet. And I remember standing here for the first pitch that I came out and I just went, I had to look around and go, wow, we're in Wrigley now, this is cool. And then that same day, Harry sang, and I just stood here, I remember, I was standing right here by the bag, and the third base coach comes to stand, and I just, no balls in between innings, I, the heck with that, yeah, I'm yeah. not doing that. You know, my arm's warm enough. Yeah. I just sat here and watched Harry sing, and I thought, we're good now. Right? We're good. Yeah. Life is good. Life's good. Yeah. Yep. That's awesome. And then they get a chance to come here and be a Cub, put that uniform on. Man, how lucky, how blessed. Yeah, it is. I, I was a free agent for... Three hours, yeah. <laughs> three whole hours. It was um, an easy decision. Yeah, it was a real. My dad just told me I called him when the contract came to the house the first morning of free agency. He said, "Don't screw this up." Right. And I didn't. I yeah. signed the next day. Smart, <laughs> yeah, smart, smart, yeah. smart advice and, good, and yeah. a smart man for yep, taking it. Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. Yep. And last year, obviously, winning the World Series, we were just talking about that. Um, what an amazing moment and going through that parade and driving oh. around through the city. Tell us a little bit, just to you know, quickly, what that was like. How awesome that was. Um. Very different. I, you know, for, for you, you played in World Series. I didn't, so we didn't get that opportunity. I played here, and you wanted to bring that to our city as a Cub. Didn't get to do that. But so I never imagined calling the World Series. And so to call a game with Pat, call the World Series, and then to call Game Seven, I was nervous as hell before the game. I really was. I'm like, wow, this is Game Seven. Don't screw this up. Like my dad's, don't screw this up, right? And. Uh, I just remember then going into the final half inning after we'd taken the lead again and just taking roll call for myself without saying anything, just saying, okay, this is this is going to be our moment for the Cubs. And, and it was, and it was just, it was pretty surreal. Well, I was glad to share a hug with you yeah, after that yeah. game. A little, a little champagne. Yeah, and, a little and glad to take a walk around the bases <laughs> yep. right here with Ron yep. Coomer, guys, inside the friendly confines. Mm -hmm.